Everybody has a smartphone these days. Mais qu'est-ce qui se passe? La vidéo n'est pas en français? Mais non, ça va être en anglais. Mais restez avec moi, je vous assure que vous allez découvrir les meilleurs podcasts et vous, vous pouvez apprendre l'anglais en même temps. Et en plus, il y a des sous-titres en français. If you have a smartphone, you have access to an amazing English resource at your fingertips and it's free. You can listen to any topic under the sun. You can listen to them while you're driving, while you're exercising, basically anywhere. What am I talking about? Yes, I'm talking about podcasts. Hello again and welcome to English with Catherine. Don't forget to click subscribe and hit the bell to be notified when I post a new video. So let's get straight into my top picks from beginner to advanced in order for you to improve your listening skills, your vocabulary and also ultimately your speaking skills. First of all, how do I access podcasts? Well, normally we access them through our smartphone. Now, how do we get them on our smartphone? Well, you have to download them. On an Apple phone, on an iPhone, you can download a podcast or listen to a podcast via the Apple podcast app, which is normally already on your iPhone. You can also access podcasts through iTunes on your iPhone as well. Now, on an Android phone, you will probably have to download an application via Google Play. Once you are in Google Play, you can look for podcasting apps such as Google Podcasts. That's one of the main ones, but I don't think it matters which podcasting app you download. Okay, let's start with beginner podcasts. The first one is British Council Learn English. Now this is fantastic because you learn everyday English in simple conversations. The level is from around A2 to B1, which is pre-intermediate to intermediate. And it also has a link to the transcript and exercises to make sure that you have understood the, the text. So it's really fantastic. The production levels are very high, like everything that the British Council do. The second beginner podcast is VOA, Voice of America. Now, Voice of America have many, many different podcasts, but the ones you want to focus on as a beginner is everyday English and words and their stories. It's an American accent and they speak really, really slowly. So it's, it's really good for learning English. And each of these podcasts are about five minutes. So nice and short. Their website, if you go to VOA website, they also have a fantastic beginner level English introductory course, level one and level two, which, which are amazing for learning English for the very, very beginners. Those are not podcasts, but they're still well worth a look. Moving on to intermediate level podcasts. I'm going to stick with VOA because they have a lot of intermediate level podcasts also. The first one is As It Is. As It Is talks about current affairs and what's in the news. Again, they speak slower than normal so that you can understand the words they're saying. They also have fantastic podcasts, different podcasts on health and lifestyle, science and technology, and many other different topics. So check out VOA. Each podcast is about four to eight minutes. The next intermediate podcast is Happy English Podcast. It includes grammar, pronunciation, vocabulary, and it looks at the news as well. So it's quite complete. 
Each podcast is about uh, four to eight minutes. So again, nice and short so that you can focus on one thing at a time. And again, this is American English. The next intermediate podcast is the BBC six minute English. Now I often use this in my classes as homework to my students because the production values are very, very good. In six minute English, they talk about everything from current topics like COVID-19 to conspiracy theories, to health and science. So there are many, many different topics to, to listen to. And each podcast is exactly six minutes. On the website, there are, you can find the transcript and also the main vocabulary is explained as well. So it's very complete and thorough. Before we get on to the next podcast, do you have any podcasts that you listen to? Or how do you integrate English into your everyday routine? I'd love to know. Please tell me in the comments below. Now moving on to the final four podcasts that are really for more advanced uh, learners of English. The podcasts that I've picked are ones that I actually listen to myself and I find them extremely interesting or funny. So I hope you like them too. Okay, we're going to turn to Australia for the next podcast. I used to listen to this all the time while I was in Australia. And now that I'm living in France, I still listen to it. It's by Dr. Karl Kruselnicki. He is a scientist. He explains everything for us normal people. And he's just funny and, and interesting to listen to. He's like the old uncle or grandfather that you wanted to have because he's just so goddamn fascinating. So it's well worth a listen. Each podcast is about 35 to 40 minutes and it talks about everything under the sun. You learn lots of new facts in this podcast. Another Australian podcast that I listen to is called Hack. It's from the, the same a radio station as the Dr. Carl podcast. And this is more aimed towards young people. I mean, people in their late teens and early twenties, uh, although I still like to listen to it as well, because the interview techniques and the people they interview are always very interesting. Political news, uh, cultural news, and anything topical at the moment. So not just Australia, but around the world. The Josh Rogan Experience is one of the most popular podcasts in the English language. So it's definitely worth a listen. Now, there are a few ads at the beginning, but don't worry, you will get into the content very, very quickly. There are two hours in each podcast, so you might want to listen to it when you are cooking a very long dinner or going for a long drive. Uh, but he interviews really interesting people, a lot of celebrities like uh, Mike Tyson, uh, David Blaine, Rob Lowe, Post Malone. So people from all walks of life. Uh, it's a no holds barred type of interviewing. He, he doesn't mince his words. And uh, yeah, and the people he interviews are also quite open on this show also. Well worth a listen. This American Life is also one of the most listened to podcasts in the English language. It is a mix of storytelling and journalism with a guy who has an amazing way of talking. He has such a nice, soothing voice to listen to. Uh, maybe you could listen to it if you needed to fall asleep. No, but the stories are very interesting. Uh, always about something in American culture, normally about everyday things and everyday people, but you will always learn something new. Okay, let's move to business podcasts. I can't mention business podcasts without referring to the Tim Ferriss Show, which is the most listened to business podcast on Apple iTunes. This guy is amazing. I've read two of his books, The 4-Hour Work Week and The 4-Hour Body, which have been translated into over 40 languages. 
He is an expert in getting the most out of life and being a master of pretty much everything. He interviews people all the time on his podcast, anyone from uh, the professional sports world to the professional business world. And he really gets down to asking them how they became successful. So it's an interesting podcast if you want to improve your business vocabulary, but also hear some interesting and inspiring and motivating stories from the business and sports world. Each podcast is about two to two and a half hours long. So mark off some time when you are on a bus, in a car, on a train or on a plane to listen to these podcasts. The second business podcast and my final podcast for today is Business English Pod. Now, this is great if you really want to learn the vocabulary, the phrases and the idioms that they use in Business English. It is specifically for non-native speakers. So they go through things like interviews, presentations, meetings, sales calls, and common vocabulary around the office. It is excellent if you need to improve your vocabulary, if you need to go for an interview, or you are starting to work in an English speaking environment. Do not miss it, it's fantastic. I really hope you liked those podcasts and I hope you get some value out of them. If you want, you can give me a call, um, click on the link below uh, in the description and you have access to a free half an hour consultation with me to see how you can improve your English even more. Hey, 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 don't go yet. There are all these videos to watch to improve your English levels even more. If you like this video, please click like and subscribe to be notified when I post a new video. Thanks and see you all again next week.